A tornado vortex signature or tornadic vortex signature, abbreviated TVs, is a pulse Doppler radar weather radar detected rotation algorithm that indicates the likely presence of a strong mesocyclone that is in some stage of tornado genesis. It may give meteorologists the ability to pinpoint and track the location of tornadic rotation within a larger storm, but it is not an important feature in the National Weather Service's warning operations. The tornadic vortex signature was first identified by Donald W. Burgess and others in the 1970s using experimental Doppler radar at the National Severe Storms Laboratory NSSL in Norman, Oklahoma. The National Weather Service NWS, now uses an updated algorithm developed by NSSL, the Tornado Detection Algorithm TDA, based on data from its WSR-88D system of radars. NSSL also developed the Mesocyclone Detection Algorithm MDA. Topic. Display The conditions causing ATVs are often visible on the Doppler Weather Radar Storm Relative Velocity SRV product as adjacent inbound and outbound velocities, a signature known as a velocity couplet or gate-to-gate -gate shear. In most cases, the TVs is a strong mesocyclone aloft, not an actual tornado, although the presence of an actual tornado on the ground can occasionally be inferred based on a strong couplet in concert with a tornado debris signature TDS, i.e. a debris ball on reflectivity or certain polarimetric characteristics, or through confirmation from storm spotters. When the algorithm is tripped, a TV's icon, typically a triangle representing a vortex, and pertinent information appear. Radar analysis of the velocity couplet as well as the automated TVs are very significant to issuing tornado warnings and can suggest the strength and location of possible tornadoes. Although many tornadoes, especially the stronger ones, coincide with ATVs, many weak EFOEF-1 tornadoes can and do occur without ATVs, especially if they are not produced from an identified mesocyclone. Likewise, phenomena such as fair weather, waterspouts, landspouts, and gustnadoes, though cyclonic and occasionally damaging, do not normally produce a signature identifiable by a TVs. Rotation associated with quasi-linear convective systems QLCSs, or squall lines can trip the TVs but do so less reliably as the couplets typically are more transient, are shallower, smaller, and weaker. This rotation may be considered a mesovortex rather than a mesocyclone but these do produce tornadoes and damaging straight line winds. Topic. Intensity ATVs can be measured by intense gate-to-gate -gate wind shear, which is the change of wind speed and or direction across the two gates of inbound and outbound velocities. Gates are the individual pixels on the radar display. For example, if the inbound velocity is minus 48 knots, minus 89 kilometers per hour, and the outbound is 39 knots, 72 kilometers per hour, then there is 87 knots, 161 kilometers per hour of gate-to-gate -gate shear. The impressiveness of a TV's not only has to do with the strength of the gate-to-gate -gate shear, but it also incorporates the size and depth of the TV's, and the strength of any surrounding mesocyclone, among other factors, including several vertically polarized variables with the advent of dual polarization. Topic. See also. Convective storm detection Hook echo Bounded weak echo region BWER 
Warning Decision Training Branch, Cooperative Institute for Mesoscale Meteorological Studies, Center for Analysis and Prediction of Storms, Advanced Radar Research Center. Equals equals notes. <laughs>